Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Welcome back out to the channel. Today we have an exciting episode. We're gonna be taking another look at some subsonic 300 blackout. This time we're gonna be taking a look at the Hornady 190 grain sub X. Let's get to shooting. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at what we're talking about today. We're talking about some Hornady subsonic ammunition for the 300 Blackout. It is their 190 grain, it's supposed to be going 1050, and it's supposed to have their flex tip, so it should perform and deform just a little bit better. A couple of videos back, I did some testing with 45 ACP versus 300 Blackout subsonic. What's the best home defense round? And I discovered that my 220 grain OTM bullet from AAC didn't really perform the best. We got some tumbling and it was okay, but we're going to see if we can get any better performance with this. We're going to test accuracy. We're going to test chronograph, so velocities out of this 10 and a half inch barrel. And then we're also going to test it into some gel to see what we get there. All right, let's get to shoot. So first up, we're just going to test five rounds. But what we're going to be doing also at the same time, we're going to be testing the new Garmin XC1. This is their new micro lab radar. Micro Radar, Lab Radar is a company, this isn't a Lab Radar product. Uh, but one thing that I'm gonna be testing first off is, can it pick up on a suppressed subsonic round? I'm gonna do something goofy, and we're gonna see if it'll pick up a suppressed shot. Yeah, 975.1. It's much better than my Lab Radar. Now, let's see if I can stand up and do it. Thousand feet per second. The other one was just a little below a thousand. Yeah, it's picking it up. 972. 995. 1007. That should be my last round. 977. Cool. That's pretty awesome. So what it's telling us as I look at it that the min it's 972, the max with 1,007. And our average energy foot pounds was 400 energy foot pounds. That's a little bit better than some of that other subsonic rounds. It was getting more 800, 850. So I really like 850 feet per second instead of close to 1,000 feet per second. So I really like this 90, 190 grain weight versus the 220. I think if you have a shorty, a 10 and a half inch barrel, you really should consider this. These are, if you watch Parl Harrell's channel, and he talks about his friend that called some of his bullets the precious, that he would never ever shoot them. I could see why someone would call these the precious. They're hard to find and they're expensive. If you're talking about self-defense, home defense, what's the price to pay on that? But you gotta go out, you gotta shoot it, you gotta test it. Okay, next, let's go see how these things perform in gel. Do they live up to the name? Will we get hollow point expansion, etc.? Okay, we're gonna put two rounds into this gel and see how it goes. There's one. There's two. Okay, let's just take a look at the two wound paths and of course, typical trigger bar fashion. Both of them are right on top of each other. Look how close I put them, accidentally of course. But you can tell from that in the wound paths, they're looking pretty 45 ACP-ish. Like they have pretty good wound track the entire way of the 16 inch block. And then you have what probably isn't great, but you have at least some complete pedal pushback from the one that isn't quite as far. And the other, of course, the red things are the little plastic tips from, from the FTX projectile. So overall, not bad, pretty good wound track. Okay, this is what we have for the expansion on these two bullets. One of them was more closer to 0.6 and the other, you know, it's got a, a wide flange going off there. So a little bit over 0.7 when you, take it all in so I'm not sure quite how to calculate it but decent expansion 
on those rounds. And now let's go take a look at how these perform accuracy wise. We're gonna go back to 50 yards and see how they do. Okay, well, we're down in the grass here and we're gonna to try to shoot some groups with the subsonic ammo. Ammo, we're only at 50 yards here, so we should be able to do pretty good. Um, I have shot, so I know what this gun is capable of. Um, we're just gonna to have to see if I can get there today. Um, I suspect this ammo would be very good, but I don't know that for sure. I also don't know where I'm going to be on paper, so we're going to have to just do the best we can. Okay, not too far from where I'm aiming, low and left. So let me do one more five shot group at another spot on the target. Okay. You guys know how I've done, but let's go down range and talk about it. Let's just take a quick look and see what we got. So this is the first group that we were shooting again. You saw that. I was aiming here. I always like to aim at a spot that I know I can really point out. Now the reticle, as it's exploded up at a 3x magnifier, that's all I had today was a 3x magnifier. And the reticle, you know, was covering about like this. So I was just kind of... Boom, 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 right? Because it's like a two MOA reticle. So it's three, so that's six MOA. So, you know, that's covering like this much of the area. So if that's not bad, probably started rushing it and pulled it. This group, much better. You know, that, that at 50 yards, that looks to be a half MOA, maybe just a little bit bigger than half MOA. So at 100 yards, it'd be just a little over one MOA, 1.1, 1.2, something like that which is completely acceptable for this cartridge, which is a self-defense cartridge. It could be a hunting cartridge, could be anything like that. I think that's pretty reasonable. Hey, and we gotta do one more test. How's this gonna do against soda jug? So trigger bar can hit him. Looks like it can kill him. Let's go down and take a look. Well, as you can see, these rounds are highly effective against milk jugs and soda jugs. Two rounds in, pretty explosive back end. See on the soda jugs, didn't do quite as good. Two rounds in, looks like I probably hit too high on the first one. The next one kind of exploded it out. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Hornady 190 grain Sub X. I think it's a pretty good performing bullet. Uh, everything seems to be working well with it, and it seems like this is a pretty decent round. Definitely want to shoot a little bit more with them just to see that, make sure that uh, they cycle and, and work well in the operation. Because sometimes some subsonics don't always cycle well. Because sometimes some subsonics just don't cycle very well. We'll keep them on the channel. We'll keep shooting a little bit and make a determination if these are going to go into my home defense gun. But I'd like to hear what you all think about these. Do you guys have any experience with this? Please put it in the comments below. I hope everyone has a great week. Let's get to shooting.